Welcome back everyone to the channel. In this video, I would be explaining you how to create a docx file or a pdf file from a SharePoint list items via MS Flows. So there is a very generic requirement where a customer or client wants to have the entire SharePoint list data to be reported in a docx file or pdf file where it can be used as invoice or report uh, uh, in going further. So as you can see, I have already created one sample list that is product catalog. These are having few items in it. And uh, I would be going to MS flows <coughs> where I would be creating one new flow. So I would be choosing it uh, the instant from blank so that I can trigger it manually. I'm naming it as invoice flow and choosing trigger as manual trigger. Okay, so in the next step, I need to get the items from the SharePoint. So I'm using get items action, selecting my SharePoint site, choosing my SharePoint list. Now I would need uh, one variable where I can store all the SharePoint data. So I will initialize one variable over here. Voice array type of array and I'll just leave the values blank for now and next step I'll just choose apply to each because I need to iterate through all the items so now uh, I need to get all the values from the list items I'll just choose value of items then add another action which is append to array. I'll just try to find that out. Append to array variable. Yes. Now in this array variable, I will append the data. So now what a data would be? So uh, I would be writing manually to this data. Let's say item colon I'll choose the dynamic content as title that means product title comma price choose the dynamic content as price and then choosing quantity okay so uh, these three items I'm, I'm creating on the on the product value the list item value item quantity and price so I because I would like to capture these data over here so I'm creating this dynamic variable so now we have this variable ready for us then we can move to the next step of populate there is a premium connector populate uh, to word over here populate a Microsoft Word template so this is a premium one what it does is it will ask us uh, to provide the template document template file path and based on that it will create one template which can be in turn uh, be used to create a new file so I'm just selecting the path because I have already created one document template in our in my SharePoint side. There's that document template. I'll just show you what this template contains. Okay, this is my template file. <coughs> So if you don't see this developer uh, section in, in your ribbon, then you need to go to the options and in the options you have to navigate to the customized ribbon and checkbox this developer thing so that it can start showing you this uh, uh, controls. So these are the controls where we would be populating the data, where we would be mapping up the data. So let's say I'm just adding a new control. This is a 
rich text control just click on the properties you would name this property so that it can be used in MS flow while writing the data back to Google. Clicking OK, it will add up this thing. So now I have two properties. So one is already there. Okay, so both are with the same name. So I'll just get uh, rid of one. Just removing it. Now you can drop control anywhere uh, in your SharePoint site as I just shown you. I have I'm receiving I'm reading this document from from one of my shipment site so you must be seeing it uh, that it has started giving this report details column so now you can dynamically input the entire array so it's simple to put up the value you just uh, you need to put the square brackets then curly braces and then you need to add up that uh, column which you created in your template file and then pass on this invoice array all right so we are done with creating this template now in the next step we would be creating one file using this template which we just created so we would like to create the file in SharePoint itself I'm choosing create file in SharePoint choosing the site Choosing the folder path, I would be choosing shared documents. So now in the name of the file, you can provide name as you want. So I'm just naming it as uh, invoice topics. Content of the file, in the content of the file, you need to choose this Microsoft Word document, which we created in the previous step. So in this step, we have created uh, one docx file <coughs> so I'm just saving it so that we can test whether our flow is creating that docx file out of that SharePoint list or not so to test it you can just click on test perform the action it will ask to validate uh, you as owner then run the flow done so let's see how the flow goes okay so it succeed so let's see if we got that file created or not okay so we have it i'm just opening this invoice docx okay cool we have the date that's that's nice so now in the next step because uh, uh the further we would like to create one pdf file which can be shared with the customer in 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 sort of uh, sharing the invoice report so i'm just creating a next step and choosing the premium connector convert doc to PDF so, so here we go convert document to PDF so now you need to select the location for it so location would be SharePoint site document library and then you need to specify which document you would like to convert so because I would like to convert this in stockx I'm just choosing that one so, now done. so convert the document uh, would be converted to PDF but post that we need to create that PDF file so I'll just add create file and create file to SharePoint I'm choosing the same SharePoint site and document library so uh, now in the name of the file so let's name it as invoice pdf and in the content of file we need to choose that pdf document which create which we created in previous step now saving this flow testing it once again run a flow done okay so it ran successfully and we have the invoice pdf ready as well cool so it uh, has the content the sharepoint list content 
That's cool. So in this video, you have learned how to create a docx file and a PDF file using the SharePoint list item via Microsoft Flow. If you are familiar with creating the, the intuitive uh, UI or designs for the invoices, then you would be able to capture the design designs using uh, different available designs and then create these invoice reports. So I think this video could be helpful for you. Thanks again. Bye.